What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So for today's app sheet uh, episode, we will be uh, doing a basic uh, attendance function in app sheet. So basically this is a comment by uh, Sagale Leluma and the uh, comment is asking on the monthly attendance record where he would like to block the duplicate of the same day or same date in the personal number so there's few ways of doing it so the first method is to do a slice in your data so that you will take the unique uh, data in the uh, table of course and the other way is to ensure that there is no duplicate in the first place so that will be part one in this video where we will do a function that uh, won't allow the data to duplicate for the attendance for the same day so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so to start off the attendance uh, a very basic attendance module in AppSheet. So first of all, let's have the employees table ready. Then of course the uh, by right the employees table should have more than just three columns like the ID, name and uh, the profile picture. Usually you have the email, the uh, mobile number, the designation, the whatever other necessary details but for this tutorial i'm just going to keep it very short and sweet all right so we have the employees table and of course we have the attendance table so the attendance table that i'm using today will have the attendance id uh, the employee id the name date and status all right so once you have that, uh, you can continue creating your app sheet application, uh, which I already have mine. So of course, I've added the table, uh, attendance and employees all together. Now, to ensure that we have the uh, smooth attendance function, functionality, I've created an action called at attendance whereby it will uh, take the record from the employees table and add a new row to another table using values from this table and the table that I want to add to is the attendance table okay and of course uh, to the right uh, to the left is the columns that we have in the attendance table and what sort of information that we want to bring from the employees table. Uh, so of course, for the employee ID itself, we are taking the exact ID from the employees table. Same goes with the name. Date is basically, basically today. And the status, I want to set it to present. And attendance ID will be unique, okay? Uh, of course, there is however another sort of checking or validation that we want to add to make sure that the attendance that we add is unique by person by the employee itself so that you won't have more than one and the behavior that i'm using here is uh, an expression where it will check for uh, the records in the attendance table referring back to the employee ID. So this is the expression I'm using. So we are starting with the use of not in the expression. So not is a logical function uh, which checks the condition. So if it's true, then the condition is false. And if it's false, then the condition is true so it's the other way around okay then we are moving to in so in is basically 
uh, it checks whether a specified value is within a list. Uh, of course, in this case, if the employee ID is found in the list, then it returns true. Otherwise, it returns as false. Uh, whereby now we are using the select uh, attendance employee ID. Okay. So this... Uh, this part selects the conditions which filters uh, which rows are included. Okay. And of course, the date has to be today. Okay. So if there's already a date with today's date in the attendance record, so this is the one that it checks. And of course, it's uh, referring back to the employee ID that has been currently being selected. So overall, uh, the, uh, how it works is, is it checks the current employee uh, which we identified by the employee ID and if it's not already listed in the attendance table with today's date uh, I mean if it's not listed for today then the expression uh, returns as true so this indicates that they haven't been recorded for today's attendance okay so, of course, you can uh, sort of reuse this uh, expression to your own condition. I mean, feel free to modify this, okay? And, of course, now I guess that's all to it. Let's see it in action. So, I've created a view called Attendance here, where I'm using the dashboard, okay? Uh, and on the left would be the employees table and to the right would be the attendance table so that's so that it will be easier for us to see and how it looks at front will look something like this okay so let's say on the left is the list of employees that you have and say for example or before that sorry let's go back to the app in the employees view i'm using the card view type Okay, this is suitable for uh, employees with uh, small numbers. If you're using large numbers, then it's best to use table. Okay, so uh, one setting that I'm using here is the... If I were to click uh, the whole card here, it will say on click. By default, it will go to go to details. But I'm using the action that we have created earlier, which is add attendance, okay? Which means every time when I click on this particular card, it will add to the attendance table. So it's faster for me. So let's try one. Let's say if I were to click uh, Aris Azahar here. There you go. It adds to the attendance table and marked as present, okay? Uh, same goes to the rest, say Nora, uh, Omega, Mr. Alberich, uh, our good friend Bogdan, Zafir, Sergio Molinari, and Lionel, Lionel, or Lionel, sorry if I got it wrong. So of course, this is uh, a singular addition to each of the employees for that particular day. Now, if I were to click again on my name, it won't add anymore same goes to the rest see if i were to click nothing happens because the records are already present in the attendance table so i hope you enjoyed the video um part two will come shortly after and this is basically the part where we will filter out the duplicates in the data so of course um for part one which we did earlier, which, which is to ensure that there is no duplicate to begin with. And part two, we will discuss or run through on how to filter out duplicates for the monthly attendance. So stay tuned for part two. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. And of course, uh, by doing so, it helps me to grow and so that many others would see uh, the content that I do and would benefit them as well such as yourself so until the next time take care bye bye